Welcome to a free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use a combo box to change a relational value in a different table or query. For example, I've got a list of customers and I've got an order form or a service call form or a contact form and I want to be able to pick a customer from a list of customers on that order or on that service call or whatever else you're relating it to. I'll show you an example right now. Okay, here I have two tables. First I have a customer table that's pretty simple. A customer ID, first name, last name, and their state. Then I have a second table that is for storing service calls for each of my customers. Here you can see the service call ID, which is simply an auto number. Next you can see the customer ID. This is the field that is related back to this customer ID, so I know which customer was for each service call. This is called a foreign key, as I talk about in my Access 201 class when we talk about relational database concepts. If you're not familiar with relationships, perhaps take a look at my Access 201 tutorial. But since I can tell which customer is for which service call, these two tables are related. And we have a service date and a description of the work done. Now what I'd like to be able to do is, when I add new service calls to my service call table, I don't want the end user to have to look up the name of the customer to put the ID in here. For example, if I have to add a service call for Sally Wilson, I can see up here that Sally Wilson is customer number three, and I could type in a number three down here. Right? Put in one seven, and then another call. But I don't want my end users to have to do that. I want to just be able to pick Sally Wilson from a list of my customers. We can do that in a form with a combo box. So let's go to forms, and then new. I'm going to make a service call form, so I'll pick design view, drop this down, and pick my service call table. Hit OK. I'll bring in all of the fields from my service call table onto the form. I cover basic form design in my Access 101 class, so if this is unfamiliar to you, take a look at my Access 101 tutorial. All right, here are all the fields, and I'm going to save this form real quick as my service call F, my service call form, and just take a look at it. There's the values. Notice how my customer ID is three, though. I want to replace this with a combo box. So I'll go back to design view, open up my toolbox, here's the toolbox, make sure your wizards are on, this little button here, control wizards, make sure those are on, and find the combo box control, click on that, and then drop it anywhere here on your form. Now the combo box wizard starts up, and it gives you some options, there are three different options here, let's pick the first one. I want the combo box to look up the values in a table or query. I want to look up a list of customers in my customer table. I'll hit next. Which table or query provides the values for the box? Well, the customer table has my list of customers. Next. Here are the fields that are in that table. Which fields do you want to bring over into the combo box? Well, always bring over the ID first, so the customer ID and then I'm gonna go let's go last name and then first name because that's the order they'll appear in the box alright next now this is how the columns are going to appear in the combo box when we open it up notice the first key column is hidden if you unturn that box you can see there customer ID is the first column but it's hidden you don't want to see that the end user shouldn't have to see the ID the end user only wants to see the last name and first name. That's fine. I'll hit next. Now what do you want to do with that value? Do you want to remember it and do something with it in the future or do you want to store it in a field? Well I want to store that value in a field. What field do I want to store that customer ID in? Well guess what? There it is right there. This is a list of fields from my service call table. I'm picking a customer and saving that value in the customer ID field. I'll hit next. What label would you like for the combo box? Well, just customer, colon, and then finish. All right, there's my combo box. 
I'll just slide it over here so it's lined up nice and easy. And I'll take a look at what happens here. Now, there's Wilson. If I go to a different record, there's Feltz and Smith, right? And if I drop this down, now watch, customer ID is two. If I drop this down and pick a different customer, notice how the customer ID up here changed. That's because this combo box is bound to the customer ID field. And the wizard took care of that for us. Now, if you want to, you can delete this text box right off the form and just use this. Now, I've just scratched the surface of this. There's a lot more you can do with this, and I talk about this in my full tutorials. All right, do you want to be able to see both of these first name and last name in the combo box when it's closed? Yes, you can do that. Okay, there's a lot more you can do with this. All right, what about sorting this list? Again, yes, it's definitely possible. You can do it, and I cover it in my full tutorials. Where do you go to find out more information? Well, in my Access 201 class, I cover relational database concepts, and I talk about this exact scenario with making a combo box to pick a customer to fill in a related form. You can go directly to my Access 201 class at accesslearningzone.com question mark GOAC201. That'll take you right to my Access 201 class where you'll learn this and much more. And of course, while you're at my website, make sure to visit my free tips and tricks section at accesslearningzone.com slash tips to find lots more free mini tutorials just like this one.